Gauss and Starla, and welcome back to another Disney Channel Loom Band tutorial. Liv and Maddie may be twins, but they are total opposites. Liv is uber glam and girly, and Maddie is a sporty tomboy. So we're going to show you how to make this totes amazed Liv inspired bow bracelet. Let us know below if you'd like us to create a Maddie one too. So let's go. So the things you'll need are one loom, two hooks, one bigger, one smaller. Turquoise, you're going to need 31 bands. White, you're going to need seven. Purple, you'll need 31 bands. Also a C clip or an S clip and a bead to go around the middle of your choice and also a clear band to go in the middle of your bead. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to take your purple bands. So I'm just going to take one and you're going to start not on the first peg, you're going to start on the second peg in and you're just going to put your band over the peg, just like that. Then you're going to go up six. So just put them on, so that's two, three, four, five, and six. So now you're going to go from this side and you're just going to go upwards. So put your band on and hook it up. And you're going to do this for all of these six bands. So hook it up, up, okay. Now what we're going to do is you're going to get a band and we're going to start here on the second peg in and we're going to go out to this side. So you're going to put it on and pull it over to here and you're going to go up like that. Then you're going to start here and you're going to go down and you're going to continue that all the way down until you get to here. So you're going to go up and then down and again up and down, up, and down and up and down and then up one more like that okay so now it's going to change a little bit what you're going to do is you're going to get another purple band and you're going to start here but you're going to go out to this side okay so you're going to go out like that and now what we need to do across this one is we need to make a cap band. So you're going to get two fingers, you're going to pull your purple band across, twist it into an eight, put it back on your fingers and you're going to attach it to these two here. There we are. So now you're going to take a purple band and you're going to go across four pegs. So you're not going to do these end two here. So you're going to get your band, you're going to stretch it and put it across these four like that. Now you're going to put it across these four here. So basically you're going the other way. So you're going to get your band, you're going to stretch it and put it over these four. There we go. Okay, so on this one, you're going to do the same, but you're going to put it over five pegs, not four. So get your band, stretch it and put it over five pegs. And then you're going to do it again, but do it the opposite way. So you're going to do these. Pull it and put it across. Okay, now you're going to get your hook and we're going to start looming. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go under this band here, the cap band. You're going to pull it out, grab the band that's underneath and you're going to bring it across to the middle here. Then you're going to start on the second peg in. You're going to grab the first band that you come to. You're going to bring it up and also across to the middle. Then you're going to go back to this peg, you're going to grab it, bring it up and forward, like that. Now you're going to carry on that method. So you need to go under, grabbing the first band that you come to and bringing it forwards. And then you go back again and over, like that. So just continue that. So you're going to pull it down and pull it across, then pull it down and pull it across, pull it down, pull it across, and again, down, and across. There we go, so we've done our first row. Now, when you get to here, what you need to do is you need to go under and grab the band at the bottom. You're going to bring it up 
and over to this peg here. So pull it over and push it down like that. Okay, now we're going to go all the way back to this side. And what you need to do is you need to push out all of those bands at the top. There are a lot of bands at the top, but you just need to push them out, grab the bands at the bottom, you're going to bring it up and forwards like that. Then you're going to do it again. So push all of those bands out, grab the one at the bottom, bring it forwards, and again, push them all out, grab it and forwards, and just carry that on for the last two. Like that. Okay, now what you need to do is these bands here, you need to push them down. So just push them down. Okay, and now what you need to do is be really, really careful. You're going to take the bands off of this row and this row. Okay, so you're gonna take them off, be really gentle because you don't want them to come off this end one here. So just take them off. And the next row. Like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take off this edge here. So literally take it off, push it up, and take it off. And you're going to do exactly the same for this side. So push it up and take it off. Now you're going to swap them over. So you're going to take this one and put it here. And you're going to take this one and you're going to put it here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to get your white bands. So you're going to start with one white and we're going to start on the third peg in from the middle. You're going to put it on. You need to twist it into an eight and you're going to bring it down onto the fifth peg. So that's one, two, three, four, five, like that. Now, from here, you're going to go up two, you're going to put it on, you're going to pull it down, twist it into an eight, and put it on the third peg in. And now we're going to start here. So where your white band has just ended, you're going to get another white band. You're going to put it on, but this time you're just going to go to here. Okay, so that's the sixth peg up. You're going to twist it, put it on, and then you're just gonna go up one, put it on, twist it, and bring it to the fifth peg here. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to get your hook. You're going to start here, and what you're gonna do is you're going to grab the band at the bottom, so the loose bands. You're going to grab it, and hook it on to this peg with the white band on it. Then the next one, you're going to hook it on this peg. Then you're going to move across and you're going to hook it onto the next white peg, okay? So don't hook on the first one, hook on the next one with the white bands, like that. And you can do exactly the same to the next one. And then here, you're going to grab it and you're going to bring it to the last peg with the white bands on. So put it on. And the other side, put it on. There we go. Okay, so just a little bit more to go for this side. What you're going to do is you're going to start here. You're going to push out the bands. So push them out and you're going to grab the band at the bottom. You're going to bring it up and hook it onto this peg. You're then going to do the same for the next one. So push out the bands, bring it up and forwards like that. And for the next one, you're just going to go forwards again. And then the next one, you're going to bring it to the same peg as you just did. And then the next one, you're going to bring it up and forwards. And the next one, you just bring it to the, exactly the same peg as you've put it on. Like that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the white bands. So what you need to do is you need to push out the purple. So push them out. You're going to grab the white like that. So grab it and you're going to pull it all the way across to the fifth peg here. Then you're going to start on this peg with the purple bands. You're going to push them out and grab the first white that you come to because you're going to pull it across to the third peg in. Then you need to go back under these same purple bands. So go back under it, grab the white, bring it up and across to this peg. 
And then the last one, just go under the purple bands at the end, grab it and bring it across to this one. Okay, so now what we need to do is we're going to take it off these two pegs again. So just take it off, be really careful because you don't want it to come off the end ones. Take it off. Like that. Okay, now you're going to get your hook and what you need to do is start here. You're going to push the hook under it, grabbing the white bands. You're going to bring it up and off. Then you're going to do the same for the next one, which has a lot of bands on it, but you need to push it all the way under and take it off. And the last one, push it under and take it off. And here is the first side of your bow created. Okay, so let's make the next side. So what you need to do here is just push it all the way up your hook because you're going to need that later, like that. Okay, let's do the next bit. What you need to do is you need to get your turquoise bands now, so the other half of the bracelet, and you're going to do exactly the same as you did before. So don't start here, you're going to start on the second one in. You're going to put the bands on. Remember, you need to go up six. So that's one, two, three, four, four, five, and six. Then we're going to go up. So do that for all six pegs. You're going to go up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now what we're going to do is exactly the same as we did before. Remember, we need to start here and go across to this peg. So take your turquoise and pull it across like that. Then you're going to go down one and up. Then you go down one and up and just continue that. So just keep going down one and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Okay, and remember when you get to here, what you need to do is take your band, you're going to start on this last peg and you're going to pull it across to this one. So you just pull it and leave it. Then we need to make a cat band. So you need two fingers, pull the band across, you're going to twist it into an eight, put it back on your fingers and you're going to put it on these two pegs here. So just put it on, there we go. Now, what you need to do with your turquoise band is you're going to pull it across four pegs here in the middle. So you're going to take your band, you're going to pull it, pull it across four pegs. Then you're going to take another band and do exactly the same but the other way. So pull it and pull it across these pegs. And then here, remember you need to go across five now. So you're going to pull it. You're going to pull it across five pegs, so really stretch out. And then you're going to do it exactly the same, but the other way. So take it, pull it, and pull it across these five pegs. Okay, now you're going to get back your hook, and we're going to start looming. So what you're going to do is you're going to start here. Remember, you need to push the cat band out, so it's out of the way. You're going to grab the band at the bottom and bring it forwards. Then you're going to grab the first band that you come to, you're going to pull it up and forwards and then you're going to go back to this peg, bring it up and across and then you do exactly the same. So you're going to go forwards and across and across and just continue that all the way down. There we go. And when we get to this end, what you need to do is you need to grab the band at the bottom, bring it up and hook it to the second peg in the middle and put it on and you can push that down. Okay, now we're gonna go all the way down to this end here. You're going to push your hook under all of those bands, grabbing the one at the bottom and just bringing it forwards. And then again, push out all of those bands, grab it, 
bring it forwards and you're going to do exactly the same all the way down. Okay, now what you need to do is push these bands down. So you're going to really push them down. Like that, because you don't want them to come off. And you need to take off these two rows. So just take them off really carefully. Like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take off this entire row. So pull it, take it off, pull it, and take it off. Then remember you're going to switch them. So put this one up, and this one down. Like that. Okay, so now you're going to do something a little bit different. You're not going to put on white bands. What you're going to do instead is you're going to grab it just as you did before, and you're going to put it on the third one in. Then you're going to grab the next band and put it on the third one in. Then on this one, you're going to attach it to the same peg. Okay, so you're going to pull it and on. And then for these, you're going to pull it to this peg in. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth peg in, pull it, hook it on. Then you bring this band to the same peg and the same for this band, bring it to the same peg. Okay, now we're going to start at this end. What you need to do is push out. Now we need to do is push out all of these bands, grabbing the one at the bottom, bringing it up, and to the same peg that you've put that band on. And you should know that you're doing it right because you're making a teardrop shape with the band. Okay, you're going to do it again. So push out all of those bands, bring the one at the bottom up, and to the same peg. And then the same to this one, bring it across to the same peg. And you can push them down. Then here you're going to do the same. So you're going to push out the bands, bring it up, but you're going to bring it to the third peg in. So pull it, put it on. And the same here. And the same to this one. And push them down. So you should have something that looks like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook and you're going to push it through all of these bands like that and you're going to take it off. So make sure it's really on your hook because you don't want them coming off your hook. You're going to take it off like that and then you're going to push it through this peg here. So push it through and you're also going to take it off. Like that so you can see that you've got the other side of your bow. Okay now what you need to do is you're going to get a white band and you're going to put it on the end of your hook so it's attached. Now you need to keep a hold of it and it needs to not come off your hook okay it needs to stay on there and what you're going to do is you're going to push off these turquoise bands okay so you're going to grab it and take it off. Grab it take it off and you're going to do the same for the others so just keep taking them off. Like that. So they should be now attached to this white band. Now you're going to put the white band back on your hook. There we are. Now you're going to push down this bow here. So push it all the way down. There we are. And you're going to do exactly the same. So you need to take off this band. You can keep it on your finger, which is probably easier. You're going to bring this band down to the end of your hook. And now you're going to take off these bands. So just put the white over, over the hook, over the hook, like that. And then you reattach it. Okay, so here is your bow, it's nearly finished. What you need to do is take this bottom white band. You're going to take it off. So grab hold of it. You're going to bring it up and off your hook. And then you're going to pull it. So this is making a slip knot band. Okay, so now it's attached these two sides together. Just pull it like that. Now with this band that is left, you're just going to wrap it around the middle. So just wrap it around 
probably say three times to wrap it around. Two, three, like that. So you've got your bow. Now what you need to do is you need to take two more white bands here. You're going to pull them and you're just going to wrap it around the middle. So just wrap it around twice. So you've put it on once. You're going to twist it and put it back on. There we are. So that is your bow. So we've nearly finished with the bow. You're going to get your bead. So what I've done is I've put a clear band through this bead. So you can use whichever band that you want. I would suggest doing clear beads, but you could use the same. You could use purple or turquoise. And what you're going to do is you're going to push your hook through this bead, stretch it out, put your fingers through it because it'll just be a lot easier using your fingers. And then you're going to attach it to your bow. So just pull it and bring it over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort out the bead so that it looks really neat in the middle. So just by bringing one of the clear bands over to one side and one of the clear bands over to the other side. There we go. So here is your bow and it's almost finished. So the last thing we need to do is we need to make a fishtail for the bow. So you can put the bow to one side now. You're going to get your loom and your colors. So you're going to need purple and turquoise for this. And you're going to start with the turquoise and you can use whichever part of the peg you want. Um, I would suggest using this side and probably the center. You're going to get your band. You're going to put it on and twist it to make an eight, like that. You can push it down. Then you're going to get your purple band and you're just going to put it across those two and push it down. Then you're going to get another turquoise and you're going to put it across. Now, with your hook, you're going to go right to the bottom. You're going to grab that turquoise band that you made into an eight and bring it up. And the same to the other side, you bring it up like that. Now what I like to do is I like to get a, another hook. So this is just a white one and I'm going to push it through those two bands that we've just made at the top. So just push it through and push it across. Because what you can do is when you make the fishtail and it goes all the way down, you can just pull this and it keeps it in the center so it won't be lopsided when it comes off. Okay, so you're just going to carry on. So what you're going to do is you're going to do alternate colors. So you're going to use purple, then turquoise, purple, then turquoise, and just keep doing that all the way down until we've finished our fishtail. So you're going to put it on. You're going to grab the band at the bottom, which is the purple. You're going to bring it up and off, and the other side up and off, and then you can pull it down. And you're just going to continue that all the way down until you've made your whole fishtail. So it depends on how big your wrist is as well as to how big the fishtail needs to be. So if you need, so if you have a big wrist, then it needs to be a longer fishtail. If you have a smaller wrist, it needs to be a smaller fishtail. So just do it however big your wrist is. So I'm going to use 22 bands in purple and 22 bands in turquoise to make this bracelet. Push it down. Put on your turquoise and just continue this all the way down. So this is the last band to go on. So you're going to put it on, bring it up and over up and over. Okay, here what you're going to do is you're going to get your hook and these two bands at the top, they're in the middle. You need to grab them with your hook. So just grab the two purple like that and you're going to take it all off. So just take it off. So you can see that there are these two bands that are just sticking out. These are extra, so you just need to pull them out and put them to one side. So you've got your fishtail, and what you now need to do is get your C-clip or S-clip, and you're going to attach it to these two bands here. So you can pull it down, 
and attach it on like that and take it off your hook and you're going and you're going to do the same to the other side so here you're going to pull it down and attach it on and take it off your hook there we go so you've got your fishtail created now you're going to get back your bow and you're going to turn it over here now what you're going to do is you need to grab two bands so you can just grab two white bands from the back it would probably be easier to use your hook so just grab one band like that from one side and grab another white band from the other side there we go and now what you need to do is with your fishtail and the c-clip or s-clip you're going to attach it to these two bands here so you're going to pull it down and attach it on like that and now you can take it off your hook and here is your bow bracelet created don't forget you can personalize your balloon band creation by using different color bands like this. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. Just remember to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. Before you go, remember if there's anything else you'd like us to make, comment below. Meanwhile, for some more loom bands, click on the right box or for some more Live and Maddie, click on the left box. And don't forget guys, you can always subscribe by clicking on the Disney Channel logo.